Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with Bass City Football Club. We're trying to take them to the top of Premier League and beyond, but uh, yeah, that is a long series, guys. So hope you are in it for the long run because we certainly are here at Roslov Gaming, taking you all the way from the bottom of the Venera National League South. All the way to the top of the Premier League, hopefully, in uh, this very long and, and nice series. So far, we are in our fifth or sixth season, and our first season that we are actually uh, competitive here in Venera National League. And uh, yeah, we didn't have the best of episodes in uh, last time around where we. Had a very good match, but didn't manage to get in goals and a very poor match. Next thing coming up here is against Wellstone, who we will be playing as an away team against. And they are 17 in the league, so it should be not too hard, but you never, never quite know how uh, the matches will pan out. Um, speaking of that, we don't seem to be dropping any places here in the league one uh, as uh, uh, round 18 uh, finishes there. Uh, I think we were clear for being 17th in uh, or 7th in the league still. And uh, we'll check that out a little bit later, I guess. Uh, anyway, while we go through the news here and everything like that, remember to smash that like button if you enjoy this episode. It's very much appreciated, appreciated by me and uh, one of the best ways for YouTube to know as well that you enjoy the content so we can get the ball rolling here, so to say, on the channel and this series and everything. Uh, if you've been with me, you know that we are in this for the long run and speaking of that if you haven't done so already remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we are bringing to you daily here at Roslo Gaming and, and let's see here so we got another offer and yet again it's here for Scholz and again it's for around 170k which is very, very good, but uh, yeah, he's our best player, so I don't really want to lose him in any way at all. Uh, our under 18 is doing very good here, actually, in uh, the FA Youth Cup so far. They are through the second round and won it. Uh, uh, won it 2 to 1 versus Exeter. So they are qualified qualified for the FA Cup shoot round three, which is uh, pretty good, pretty pretty good. Uh, let's actually take a little look on our youth squad. It's definitely been uh, quite the while since we've done that actually. So let's see. Um, Obviously not even finding the correct way to go, so the under 18s of course, and uh, yeah, don't know quite why they are doing so good. Uh, the ability is certainly not really there for any of the players. Uh, potential. Sure, we have Gosling here that should be, should be all right, but uh, nothing else really here. But yeah, Gosling have a good chance to develop in best case, uh, but uh, hasn't done, or actually let's see here how he have, have been developing. So yeah, he's been developing a little bit here in the season, but uh, not great enough, I guess. Uh, but actually, let's see here if we can't... Uh, can't dabble a little bit with uh, with mentors or things like that. So let's see here. So we should should set a mentor for uh, for this player. So let's see here. Let's check the training. 
And can I see here? Can I do anything special now? Don't really think so. So let's see here. Dynamic social group happiness. So we have Ponticelli really is the player that I I I'd like uh, like to let let uh, to be the mentor for the player. I couldn't do the bookmakers here for the upcoming game. It's very much even Steven for the match against Wellstone training last week. Decent with an average of 7.36, so not too good, not too bad, so to say. And nothing really too special to note there. Uh, no player that we can criticize, so we won't be doing that. And we'll go to the match here, or the lineup rather. We'll check the, the inbox first here. And we got an offer for Akinola here. And uh, we'll re check the offer here for him. Uh, the offer were far too low for us to be interested in any way whatsoever. Uh, we have Ojibari on international duty here, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll have to play O'Connor instead of Ojibari. So let's put in O'Connor and on your body actually not having too great of rating here. Uh, so let's actually change here. So folks don't play down through the middle should work out better for us. Uh, so let's see here. So I want you to be a mentor for one of our players. So how can I do that? I wonder it should be in training really. Ah, here we have it. Mentoring uh, strikers. Let's try this. I haven't dabbed around in this as you can see at all. All right, so need at least three players. So let's see here. So I want no. I want Ponticelli. Add player. All right. So entering. Can I? Add? No, I can't add. Ask assistant to assign. All right. So that may be. That maybe works out, I don't know. I don't quite understand this actually. I don't understand if you can't add in any players that are in, uh, in the youth squad under 18s. I guess you can't. Yes, sure. We'll play this match nonetheless, even though O'Connor is lacking a little bit in match sharpness. That should should be all right nonetheless. And um, the kickoff on um, just let's play through this match here. And as you see, so there, I certainly have still very much to learn here about how to play football manager properly. Uh, so guys, please give me a chance, and if you have comments on how I should do um, or anything like that that I needed to learn. We are welcome to, uh, to put in a comment. It's actually very, very much appreciated and I read everything and take every suggestion into consideration and everything like that. And uh, the most important and not important informative and positive comment actually on each episode will get pinned. So if you do write a a comment it's uh, you have a very good chance to get pinned if you want to 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 be pinned uh, and at least hearted and uh, everything like that so 
pretty even, even so far here in the game for us, it seems. Uh, there have been a few chances and the chances have been for us, but we haven't been able to hit the goal so far. And we have another chance here that are developing here in this certain nice minute and we're all gonna pass in the ball to Charles to the Havland and the Havland, Havland getting dispossessed there unfortunately and it's a counter-attack for Wellstone, Wellstone versus our keeper and they shoot it just over the ball bar they're a pretty bad finish actually And there we should have the final whistle for the first half, and we do. And the scoreline 0 to 0 for Bassett versus Wellstone, shots 5 to 7, shots on targets 0 to 3, and possession 63 to 37 percent. Uh, so looking at the stats, we have sort of a good half, but not really since we aren't hitting the target. And they still have more shots than we do, but we certainly have the possession here in this game at least, uh, which is something. Uh, looking on the player ratings, nothing special to note really, but we should just be sharper I guess here in the second half. It were supposed to be a pretty even game uh, according to the bookmakers, so uh, that is certainly living up to that, uh, as that is really the case for this match so far. 48 minutes here and a free kick and super chance there by Walson hitting the side netting very very close to a goal so we should uh, count ourselves a little bit luckier maybe that we didn't get a goal against us and next chance here in the 55th minute looked to be a good chance for us but uh, Walson there with the ball but uh, a pretty poor pass there uh, or a pretty poor try of a long ball but the ball to Wellstone again and a shot from a little bit of a distance over the bar there so not too dangerous looking and we have now passed the 6 minute mark so time for sub mania so to say here maybe it shouldn't say sub mania that uh, <laughs> sounds wrong of sorts uh, let's put in Stewart and Gray here maybe instead of O'Connor and yeah should be alright don't really want to change out our defenders and that lineup is really the only lineup that can play defense decently for us at least that's how it feels so very few minutes to go here until the final whistle Will there be another chance or not? No, probably not since there are 10 seconds to go or a little bit more than and that of the game here. So waiting for the final whistle. And the final whistle should be here now, the second, and it is. So the final score and another draw here again. 0-0 zero zero for Bassett versus Wilson. Shots. 8 to 14 shots on target 2 to 6 and possession 58 to 42 percent so all right it's all right here uh, or actually it's not all right they are 19th in the league so we should have done better and uh, we drop down to eighth place now in the league 10 points off from the league leaders so we are definitely losing grip of being able to fight for the league win at least. Uh, a promotion playoff spot is definitely something that are uh, possible still and that we are aiming at. Next game coming up here is against Yorko at home so it will probably be quite hard again here. And we again have an offer for uh, Charles here. And um, again here we can't reject the offer and uh, unfortunately, uh, let's see here, current offer, or actually we can, we can still reject the offer, I thought that our, uh, our uh, manager or uh, our board had said here that uh, it needed to be accepted they haven't actually uh, so we'll 
actually still still uh, reject this offer even though it's very very good offer It's a level that we actually should be maybe thinking about accepting it, but uh, we we don't we don't want to sign off for our uh, most important player to a competing team. Uh, because I think Chester is in the same league. Doesn't really matter though, but uh, yeah, we don't want to sign him off. Actually, might reconsider my statement there, and uh, just is maybe in one league below. So it's a little bit strange actually that Charles is interested in talking with uh, with them. But uh, yeah, yeah, at least he's not uh, uh, he's not really wanting to go there like crazy. So he's unsettled by us rejecting the offer. So that's good at least. And folks, don't play, don't play down the left. I wish I could, but we have big players on the left, so don't really want to do that. According to bookmakers, here, a very even game against York. And let's see here, how have Oyebody been doing here on his international level? He's been doing all right in this match against. Uh, uh, let's see here, which were it against against Symbia. And uh, player per personality changing, so actually mentoring unit general character had had uh, positive impact here for Yusuf Oyebodo, which is interesting. And uh, welcome period for the heaven has had positive effect or impact as well, which is nice. And Stuart unfortunately losing ability here. And time for some team selection here again. So again, I think yeah, we are in a pretty hectic schedule here, and maybe need to switch out some players here. So not really Haynes is definitely on the tired side, but uh, should be all right. And uh, Oyebodo is still on international duty, so can't switch him in. And uh, yeah, nothing really to note here. Other than we should be doing better. Than we have been doing the last couple of games. It might be with Ponzelli playing target man, um, maybe uh, together with Alloy, that that uh, setting not really working, but uh, I think we'll give them one more chance at least. Definitely had many chances in the last game, even though it didn't end in any goal, but here is the goal for Bassity and Alloy. Taking the lead here, one series in the second minute here against a York City and very good stuff there. Not the greatest finish at all by Alloy, actually straight at the keeper, but nonetheless a goal and that's exactly what we need. We need some momentum here and potentially with that free kick just over the goal there unfortunately. But a uh, pretty good chance there as well. And the next highlight here in the 15th minute, and, uh, and let's see what happens here. Uh, and it's a chance for York, or it looked like it were going to be at least, but we managed to uh, kick it out to safety, so to say, but the ball is still in York hands, so shouldn't say too much. Uh, but we managed now to take proper control of the ball, and making a very poor pass there by Iverson. That were intercepted by York and the ball yet again to York and we yet again intercept the ball and the ball now to the Havland passes to Charles here and what will he do? He passes back to Akinola and to the Havland to Charles and Charles passing it wide to Iverson. Iverson bringing it forward passing it to Charles and getting it wide to O'Connor there and it's another goal for Bassetti and the scoreline now 2-0 to to here for Bassetti in the 16 minute mark. So definitely lucky bounce there on the the shot of Charles, I believe. Charles shooting here, yeah, and a lucky bounce or yeah, a lucky bounce from uh, that uh, 
the player trying to take down the ball on his chest. And a corner here for York in the 18th minute. Don't want a goal against the Sierra now. This is, would be a bad timing for us. Uh, once we actually got some good momentum here going at the moment. But it is a goal for York City here. And the scoreline now 2-1 for Bass City versus York. And uh, a super shot there actually. And a super finish by their player. Uh, Kinsella here, can't say too much, or actually it weren't that. Or keeper there doing not enough, I feel. Uh, it weren't at, at all uh, as much in the corner as I thought as well it was. And uh, we have O'Connor here getting an injury, so we have to put the Gray in instead of O'Connor, I feel. And uh, another highlight here in the 25th minute. And O'Connor there, unfortunately, not getting to the ball, maybe due to that light injury. And yeah, the, they're missing the player, and luckily no goal for York there, but basically our player is uh, letting the opponent get a free chance there. So not too much left here of the first half and not too much happening. And we should have the first half whistled in two minutes time. But first a highlight here for Bassity as things are looking the ball with Bolton passing it long up towards Poncelli. But losing the ball there unfortunately almost. But the ball back here to De Havilland and Shaws. But De Havilland get it intercepted there. And the ball back down to Jordan, so still in our hands. And the ball up to Haynes here on the left hand side, and he's throwing a long ball towards Adloy. And it's headed back to Schultz, passing to Gray here on the right hand side to Adloy, to Gray, and passing it into the middle to De Havilland, and out to Gray on the right hand side again to Schultz and to Gray. And to Charles and passing it forward to Adloy. Ad Adloy with a chance, and it's a goal for Bassett here. And then taking the lead 3 to 1 here in the 48th and last minute of the first half. So, what a way to end the first half there. So, super, super uh, performance there by Adloy and Charles and on the passing before that. And a very good finish there as well by Adloy. So we should have the first half whistle here. And there we have it. So the scoreline after one half is 3 to 1 for Bassett versus York. Shots 11 to 4, shots on target 3 to 1, and position 56 or 58 to 42%. So definitely playing really well here, actually, in the first half. And looking at the ratings of our players, all players doing really, really well here as well. And Shaw's actually being assisting of three goals so far. So yeah, to sell Shaw's, I think it would be more or less suicide in a way here for us. So we'll do our utmost to not sell our star player here. And uh, let's see here. We have a lot of players who are pretty tired here. Uh, and we're not yet up to 60 minute mark. So we'll probably be doing substitutions very soon and we are now at 60 minute mark so we'll need to do some subs here for the last half. So we'll put Tavares in instead of Akinola who are tired who could do Haynes but uh, don't really want to do that. And we'll put in Stewart instead of the Havilland who are tired and having a good game but not his best so should be all right and hopefully we'll not get any injuries or anything like that that we need to put in another player and we have another highlight here in the 75th minute Stuart with the corner that didn't go too well but the second chance to cross that and we're getting three chances there hitting two times in the post and the third time just outside the post and uh, 10 minutes to go here with the next highlight coming here in the 8 second minute and uh, looked like to be for York but the ball back in our hands and Iverson bringing the ball up here in the midfield and Stewart passing a long ball up towards Adloyd but not really getting to the ball there 
rushed it, that was a point silly, but nonetheless the ball back to Iveson here again and passing to Stewart and this time he re uh, Stuart reaches Ponticelli and they have passed back and forth there a little bit again and doing a bad pass there and a bad pass from our defender unfortunately one on one versus our keeper and it's a goal here for Pass City or for York is what I meant and the score now, now 3 to 2 here in the 83rd minute for Bath and uh, hopefully we can keep this together for the last few minutes I kind of want it to hit very defensive here at this stage but yeah I shouldn't do that because I overall think very defensive if defensive is pretty poor judgment but we'll do so for the last three minutes and the last chance here and out for a corner for York City or actually it's a goal kick for us so it should be the final thing that happens in this game and, and there it is, the final whistle, so we have finally managed to take a win. The final score is 3-2 for Bassett vs York, shots 16-14, to 14. shots on target 6-6 and possession 56-44%. to 44%. And uh, yeah, happy with the lads after this performance. Uh, maybe a little bit uh, too bad that we got, in, got another goal against the stair. Uh, but overall really well and uh, very very much needed especially uh, before that next game coming up uh, that is against Chesterfield and after that match we are now 6th in the league and 8 points off from the league leader so not too bad but we need to keep the momentum up here uh, definitely as it's very very close here in the league and uh, this one attendance here with 1162 attending that game and O'Connor out for one to two days, so not too bad. Uh, we will praise Adelaide's performance there for his match against York. Anyway, that will be everything for this episode. So remember to smash that like button if you have enjoyed it. And also if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Crosslogging. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.